the Ransom Center has one of the world's best Joyce collections. Extraordinary range of first editions of Ulysses, a big collection of correspondence, ephemera associated with the publication of Ulysses and with Joyce's life more generally. In essence, this exhibition has quite a simple argument behind it, which is that women were crucial to the making of Joyce's work. It looks both at kind of emotional support that's given by people from Joyce's family, notably his wife, Nora Barnacle, but also his mother, his aunt, his sisters, and then professional support from women associated with the book trades. Margaret Anderson and Jane Heap, who were the editors of The Little Review. Harriet Shaw Weaver, editor of The Egoist and Joyce's financial patron and the famous Sylvia Beach. Proprietor of Shakespeare and Company and publisher of the first edition of Ulysses in book form. One of the first things you'll see is a really remarkably pristine copy of the first edition of Ulysses published on the 2nd of February 1922 and it's luminous and that particular copy is really interesting because it was kept by Beach in her shop right up till 1941 and then the Nazi occupation of Paris happened and she had to close her shop very hurriedly and this was one of the copies that was saved. So it's got quite an interesting history. Lots of extraordinary correspondence from Joyce's mother, from Aunt Josephine, some lovely family portraits of Joyce, of Nora. Then you move into the publishing story properly, where you've got the egoist and Harriet Shaw Weaver, amazing, lovely portrait photograph of Weaver on the wall, which has got a very kind of deep gaze in it the little review section, then Shakespeare and Company, and finally you can look at a kind of legacy of what happens after Ulysses, and you know, see how the publication of Ulysses impacted these women. One of the things that's innovative and important about the exhibition is it brings all of those stories together, and all of the documents which tell those stories are brought together for the very first time in history.